All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we're going to be talking about the Google OAuth login. Okay, so recently I was upgrading this Google OAuth in one application, so I faced few issues. And there is one more update from the Google side. Like, if you are using the older Google login into your application, like Google OAuth or pop up into your application, so you need to upgrade those to Google Identity Services just because that they have, uh, like, uh, since uh, March 31. It gonna be deprecated and you have to integrate like go with the new version so there's uh, some updates into this one like uh, if you have seen already into a few applications like one small pop-up comes over here and it shows you some your logged already logged in emails like from which you are already logged in into the google in the gmail account so it will show you over here like those emails to log in into that app otherwise it will open the pop-up for you like as it is and you can log in with that as well so this is a small kind of uh, behavior that will come otherwise so let me just show you that one how it works so if you see this one tab sign in so this is for android so sign in for google web oh sorry and into this one you can read this whole documentation otherwise they have already provided one one tab login one tab sign in with google so they have already provided the videos on that as well so that you can also read it and start making the login of the user okay so that you can do so we don't need to dig into that one we just need to take a look at the web server part like uh, if we have to redirect user to the our api side and then it will open the auth url and after that you click on the login and it will return you the authorization code and then with that you will get the access token of the user and user details via google apis okay so that how will you do so that we're going to be discussing so you see the whole documentation is written over here with the google so you can use the codes by according to your stack which is that you are implementing it so i'm using the node.js right now so for node.js we just need to implement and npm install google apis and after that it will take you to uh, install so after that it will show you this uh, how you have to integrate for the generating auth url so you need to create the auth client after importing the google apis and then you need to provide the scope and then use this client function to get the authorization url so it will provide you the authorization url and after that you just need to redirect on that auth url so i'll show you how it need to be implemented so i have already written the code and i was using it so i'm just going to give you the demo about that one so after getting that one you need to just get that authorization code because once you log in so it will take you read on the redirect uri and after that you will get the authorization code from there okay so just copy that authorization code and put it into the another function which is so you see over here get token and over here you need to put the code and it will give you the token so sometimes people get uh, issue with that like it shows invalid grant or something so into this api auth client to dot get token so it will sometimes return you this uh, invalid grant or other other kind of errors so mostly it was throwing me an invalid grant error so the cause was this one uh, mostly it was just because of this like you haven't provided this access type offline otherwise if you make sure you see this one like uh, already this token has been used somewhere else so most of the people use the facebook uh, this passport.js and use this passport google OAuth strategy so what they do into their code base over here so let's suppose i'm using the google login and i have used this use card so this is the kind nest.js repository so don't uh, just get confused about this one because it's the same kind of express.js but it provides the decorator to be used so that i'm using right now otherwise creating the middleware function so these this is a kind of small middleware which is coming in terms of decorators okay so in the callback function also people use the this uh, login strategy over here as well and this uh, authorization code is valid for only one one time use if you again reuse that authorization code so it will show you the invalid grant okay so make sure that uh, this is not included if you if you are using this code into the um, 
google or authentication so you see i have written the function over here to getting the token so if you because this uh, like uh, this google strategy which is created into this uh, passport.js that also just uh, get the authorization code from the google login and then it will send you the user access token and user other details like name and first name last name and all the things okay so firstly it get used by this passport is uh, passport or this strategy and if you are not using that uh, strategy at the time of callback so you need to make sure like it's not getting used somewhere else before retrieving the token so you just need to put that code authorization code into this function and you will get the access token from there okay if you are using the google API, otherwise passport js will provide you automatically all those details so you can just grab the access token from there and make your user login into this one so let me just show you so how this uh, code looks like so just go over here so my url is localhost 8000 and this is my url if i click on it so it will open the pop-up for me okay so this was the url which i hit right now so this is google login the prefix are over here so this is the auth and before that api slash v1 is the my prefix that i'm using okay so if i click on it so it will take me to the client side url localhost 3000 which is redirecting from here this uh, google callback function over here so it says it's actual uh, config.client url and it will take me to the code so this is the code you receive from this uh, uh, google side so what you need to do you just need to grab this code from this query and put it into this uh, google for authentication over here okay so once you put it into this one so you will grab like uh, all the details like this tokens and all from here okay so let me just show you quickly over here so so you see we are receiving the to uh, this uh, code into this callback function so just use this one const token response equals to update okay so this dot google dot oauth integration dot get tokens okay and what i'm going to do is query dot code okay that's it and log this token response over here hit enter and now just go on that url again login url control all so local host sign in google we came over here and just login i am coming on this page but you see i am receiving the tokens and other details over here so you see access token id token token type expiry date so all the things this is the timestamp coming for like when this token will get expired so by using this id token you can retrieve your other details into the jwt as well so if you go over here so if you open this jwt okay jwt.i just go over here and put your id token into this one let it let's just open it and just so you see this field over here so if i will put my id token over here so you see i am receiving my details over here so this is my name this is my first name last name and this is local english okay so this internationalized something email verified my email address so all the details are coming over here okay so this is the id token is jwt token which gives like which uh, holds your all the personal details okay and with this code you can retrieve the token so, so whenever you will try to log in into the google so google provides the authorization code first with that authorization code any library you are using so that will extract your personal details like access token and user to user details like name first name last name id token and all the things okay so everything depends on this authorization code so that's how it works okay so over here so you have retrieved your, all the details and after that you can just log in and like uh, you can make your user login put to the details into the database and next time you will user will reload the page so you can refresh the token and again it will work okay so that's how it works and apart from this one i was discussing about the error part so let's suppose you 
I have already used this token over here okay and again you will use this token just down below so what it will uh, what it will do it will throw the error to you like invalid grant or something so let me just copy this code again over here and just rename it to like uh, token response one okay and put it over here so in the next in the next call it will throw you the error okay so just uh, first uh, so just remove this one from here the first one we gonna be long we gonna be longing logging it above so just log it over here first one and second one gonna be throwing the error to us so just we are logging it below okay now try to log in again so i'll show you why that error comes so if i click on it so it has thrown the error internal server error so it's not redirecting me to the client side url okay so why so you see invalid grant error is coming because i have already used this token of code over here authorization code over here and i'm, I'm trying to use the same code to retrieving the token so that not gonna work so you can use this authorization code only one time that has been already used again if you are using it so you will receive this error so make sure you guys if you are receiving this kind of error so which means your authorization code is already getting used or already expired that you are using it okay so that's it that's i wanted to show you guys and same thing works into the facebook side as well so you see i have already integrated the facebook part as well so same thing it works with the facebook if you are trying to log in into that and it provides the authorization code as well and with that authorization code you can retrieve the user details so that authorization code same like i have used the facebook strategy over here and google strategy over here so i'm using the passport.js okay for because the same thing works otherwise i have the integration part as well like i'm using the facebook apis over here as well and google apis over here so facebook doesn't provide the proper sdk for that so you need to use this facebook graph api and with that when you can retrieve the use of facebook token so you see i retrieve the token and uh, facebook uh, uh, facebook like auth url as well so both way we can work on it okay so that's how it works so i will tell you later like about the facebook part but i can show you how log login works for this one so if we go to this local host so you see this google this is the google login if i click on this facebook so you don't open the facebook part of home so you see so it's currently showing the url is wrong because that is running on, this facebook app is running on the server side so on the https route so it will block this url because it's not valid to open into the local host okay otherwise you will see this kind of pop up uh, pop up and if you are already logged in with the facebook account into your browser so it won't ask you for these things it will only ask you the permission the permission you need to provide to like email or grants and after that it will take you to the login and take you to the client um, callback url and provide you the authorization code into your redirect URL after into the params okay and then you can just get that authorization code and put it into the facebook apis or if you are using the passport strategy then it will automatically take it and give you the access token and other details of the facebook okay so that's how it works so this this was the whole idea to just give you like brief um, if you are receiving any kind of error like related to invalid grant or something so facebook doesn't provide the invalid grant error it will provide you the proper message like this authorization code is expired it has been already used so this kind of error it provides so i have already used it so that's why uh, but you can try it by yourself if you feel any kind of issue and error any kind of that you are not able to understand why i'm integrating so you can reach me out and put me into the comments so i'll reply over that Okay, so thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.